Two games in, both exhibition games. Now you guys uh, start the, the games that count against Howard on Sunday. Just kind of talk about the matchups. Uh, I think we're going to keep doing the same things we've been working on. Uh, most, most of our guys are uh, getting to the glass and they're trying to step it up on the defense. Bit. We'll keep doing the same things in practice. Uh, so I think you know, if we keep doing what we're doing and keep working hard, we'll be all right for that first game. I mean, does the mindset change at all now that the games count, or are you guys just continuing to try to improve uh, every game? Uh, we're doing the same things, you know, continuing to improve and uh, seeing where everyone fits in and certain lineups and that sort of thing too. So, I mean, every game we play is fun and uh, we want to get out there and play hard. So. What are some of the things that you guys are going to try to get better at um, on Sunday that, that you haven't done so well after the first two games? I'd say limit our turnovers and uh, because we've had – you know, the first game we had a lot, and still not our goal of having at least, you know, six turnovers at halftime and trying to keep it low and really uh, uh, cherish our possessions. So that's what we're working on. Is it any more exciting that, that you're getting to the games that actually count now? I mean, what's kind of the – what do you think the mindset of the team is now that, that the games actually count? Um, you know, we're going to take it just as serious as any other game. So, I um, do Sorry, I can't focus. He's behind there, messing with me. Um, what was the question again about the games? Seriously, the games? I mean, yeah. And is it is it more exciting now that the games actually, you know, mean something? Yeah, it's very exciting. You know, we've been waiting since the last the end of last season uh, to be able to come out this year and really improve and be able to play some games. So I think everyone's really excited for that. Playing with each one for three years now, I and mean, you watched well, two years ago, you watched it. Now you've had a chance to play with Tyrone, uh, different players, different people. But does Tyrone have that kind of scoring ability that you know, he can supplement this year? Um, I think so, definitely. Just watch it Tyrone from the open gyms, and then right now in the games, you kind of see he's kind of like Etwan. They're athletic, but not just super athletic, but they're creative with scoring. Tyrone knows how to use his body. He's a bigger guard, so he kind of get in the lane, use his body, shoots it well enough so he can stress the defense, and he's similar to Etwan today. And you, you know, you took the ball. So you were seen more aggressive the other night as well to the goal. I mean, that may have been the way the defense was playing. But did you know you all got to kind of do the scoring by create by committee thing to help Juwan and each one. Are you looking to score more? Um, I think so. I'm looking to take my opportunities. opportunities. I'm not. I mean, I got to be more aggressive. That's just the nature of the game. Just so teams respect us more. But I'm not just gonna come down trying to shoot the ball just to prove to people different things. But when it's there for me to take shots, I get to the lane. I'm gonna take my best opportunities just to help this team. You were one of the guys in the offseason who, who, who really talked to Patrick in terms of his improvement. Can you just talk about his improvement in the sense that he runs the floor so much better now? How important that is to you guys? It's huge because, I mean, you're used to Rob and Jawan running. So, you know, on the break you have so many options. And I think he really realized if he runs the floor, he'll get the chances to score the ball. He doesn't have to really worry about just, oh, I haven't touched it here, so soon I touch I'm going to take a bad shot. Or he doesn't feel part of the offense. And I think he realized once he runs, he can really help his team. I think Matt put it last year. He was always behind the play. And now he's putting himself in front of the play. Is that Definitely. That's how you best describe it. Definitely. I think for a lot of freshmen, even when I started out, the game is so much faster. On TV, everybody thinks it's slow and you can just interact. But I think Pat didn't realize how fast the big men were. And I think that first year of experience, seeing Rob and Juwan every day run too, I think that helped. So he, he lost that weight. And then he knew once he got back out here that he needed to run hard and be like the rest of the big men. Oh, it's a big idea, you know, um, just getting into the game, the first game in Cal. So we just got to come out and, you know, keep the pressure up and uh, just do the things that we do. Do you feel like the, there's a level of excitement that, that you guys are, are done with the exhibition games and the season actually actually is uh, getting started now? Uh, yeah, I think it's a, it's a different level of excitement. But, I mean, we were excited for the exhibition games also. So it's just good to get out here and get the first game, you know, that actually counts up things that I've definitely changed. I'm definitely able to get up and down the floor a lot quicker. I think that's just all part of it, though. Part of becoming a better college basketball player is just able to run the floor better. Coach put it, I think last year you were kind of always behind the play. This year you're putting yourself in front of the play. I'm sure he means that in more ways than one, not only running the floor, but also you know being more comfortable, knowing what to expect. But is, is that just kind of how you look at things right now? Um, it's just really a mindset. Um, anybody can go out there and just give an effort. And I think last year I was just more than trying to survive in the games, just trying to get through because I really wasn't in shape or anything. I really didn't have a lot of stamina and I was just able to perform at a high level for a long period of time. When you play tight end as a junior, 
do you remember what you ran in the 40? By chance, if you ever like had. 4.8. 4, eight. Right. That was the last time I remember. Okay. Did you make your mile time for the season? For this season? Yes. Yes, yes I did. I ran it in 5.37. 5.37. Mm -hmm. What did you run last year? Um, I ran at 5.50.